what is up what's going on people of youtube it's your boy the hobby collector here coming at you guys with yet another channel update um got a pretty hefty update it's uh the 28th of december so i'll be also wishing well the 30th of december excuse me uh, so i'll be also wishing you guys a happy new year inside this video and talk to you guys about my new year's resolutions and stuff like that first let's start this channel update and personal update off by starting off with the elephant in the room that is covid 19. all of us out there have been going through our own little personal individual you know uh issues and you know problems and stuff and just overall the circumstances that this uh you know virus and stuff brought to us all for example, like my son, he lost his grandma on his mom's side. So um, that's that. from what I heard, it wasn't due to COVID-19. But, you know, with that going on, including, you know, that on top of everything, it just makes everything intensif intensified. So like I've been saying inside my vlogs, inside my, even inside my entertainment videos, Instagram and stuff like that, Facebook, um, we just got to, you know, take it for what it's worth and just try and stay as, stay positive as much as we can and just, you know, work our way through everything and stuff and keep our heads up as much as we can and just, you know what I'm saying, work together, you know? And I felt like, and like I've been telling people personally that I know on a personal level, I feel like 2021 is gonna really, really bring people together. You know, if the, if the world doesn't end in 2021, I feel like that year or next year is gonna be the year that people realize what life is really about. Like this year, 2020 was a year of learning and growing and really, really, taking time to yourself a lot of people didn't utilize this self time to grow within yourself and spiritually grow your mind and figure things out and just increase your knowledge you know about everything you know this is your time to really really increase your skills really really take time to spend more time with the family more time with the kids most definitely because they are the future the reason why generations are getting worse and worse each generation is because it's because each generation of adults are getting dumber and dumber and worse and worse and not training and teaching their kids so without me preaching too much, let me go ahead and move it over to the next topic because you, you guys know once I, once I get to talking and it's, it's some real deep topics, I can I can keep going all day long. You know what I'm saying? Just to close this intro out, to stay safe and positive, stay active, and just you know what I'm saying, to stay having fun. You know, don't stop doing what you're doing just because stuff is going on. You gotta stay st still stay attacking life like I've been doing. So let's go ahead and move over to my next topic. All right, so next topic is my new Walmart position. I know you're probably watching like, damn, didn't you just say that inside your last video? Yeah, I mean, I've been, like I said, just a little moments ago, you gotta attack life, man. I've just been attacking life. And it was, if it wasn't for COVID-19, trust me, this would have been one of my best years. It still is one of, my be one of my best years ever, even with the virus and stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Everything being closed down. Me and my son are able to go out and do stuff like we, like we want to and stuff like that. And, you know, vehicle issues and stuff like that. I'll talk more about that later on. And just, you know, but even with all that being said, man, I've been achieving stuff and doing stuff for the first time this year that I've never done before in my life and just achieving, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still an hourly manager for the people that know that I'm a manager at Walmart. I'm still hourly, which I don't mind. I'm not in a rush to be an assistant at all. You know what I'm saying? That's easy 12 to 15 hours a day. You know what I'm saying? The money is good. You know what I'm saying? We look real handsome, but you know, I'm not rushing into, into that yet. Everything has a time limit. And like I told, like I said inside a different video, I have a patient spirit these days and it's been paying off most definitely. And that's what makes me even stay even more patient and, and make me enjoy, it allows me to, to enjoy things, not really enjoy things that happen or slow me down, but it allows me to accept it and just, you know what I'm saying, maneuver my way through knowing that as long as I see that light or, you know what I'm saying, as long as I'm working towards that light towards the, at the end of the tunnel, then, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? Just keep working through it, just be patient. As long as you're moving forward, it don't matter. So yeah, I got offered a new position. Been working it about two months now. Um, got offered it about four months ago. Um, and it's a few more dollars than what I got paid, than what I've been getting paid and stuff like that. And this is crazy, cause I just been elevating, you know, and it's not even always about, you know, making more money. It's about just who you are and building upon your resume and who you are as a person and how you, and your reflection. People are gonna look at you and, it, and whatever you present to them is gonna reflect back, you know what I'm saying? So you are pretty much a reflection of yourself. So the position I had before I was over the receiving team, unloading the trucks and stuff like that, making sure we get everything done in time, receiving frozen dairy uh, deliveries and stuff. So all the truck deliveries in the back room, and you know, making sure just everything gets done, all the freight gets out to the floor, make sure everyone's working on the sales floor, all the returns are getting done. 
Um, I pretty much do half of that now, except for I got a little bit more responsibility. I'm not in charge of the back room no more. I'm in charge of the sales floor. Everyone knows when it comes to Walmart and different stores or different department managers split up upon different departments. You know what I'm saying? Frozen, dairy, meats and produce. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, bakery. But now I'm in charge of all that. There's not no individual department managers no more. There's one person or a few people over all those areas. So most of the time it's me and one other manager for the whole day. And sometimes it's just me for the whole day covering all those areas, supervising, bouncing back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Answering pages on a walkie and stuff like that. So it's, it's a really, really fast paced job. And I'm really, really thank God that he made me a Leo first of all, and it made me, and I'm super, super active. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's what, that's, that's, everyone has something inside them that can make you a lot of money and can make you really successful in life. Everyone has that skill. And me, it's just that I'm super active, young for my age and super energetic for my age. Even my son have a hard time keeping up with me. You know what I'm saying? So I thank God for that. Real talk, real ass talk. So no more lollygagging on that. Let's move over to my next topic. And before I move over to my next topic, shout out to everyone that be that be knowing of me on Facebook and know me in person that be running to me at Walmart and stuff like that. I just ran into somebody the other day. Sometimes I don't be knowing who y'all are. I be forgetting who people is. I be running to people, helping customers and meeting people every single day. So, you know what I'm saying? Forgive me, but I still stop and talk to people. People be like, man, dude, you be moving like you. Like, I, I be like, hey, man, I told you. I don't be joking when I be posting, when I be saying I be on it. I be on it, bro. I, you got to keep, you got to catch up to me if you want to, you know what I'm saying? Because I be, I be moving, you know? So next topic is no more BMW for your boy. Yes, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Um, I tried to give the benefit of the doubt. You guys see me making videos. I still got more BMW videos coming. And for the most part, I did fix a lot of things that was wrong with the BMW when I got it and stuff like that. Did get it for a good price. But everyone that knows about BMWs, when you get it for a good price, obviously, you know what I'm saying, there's gonna be some money you're gonna be dishing out, which I knew what I was getting myself into. That's why I turned into a YouTube project and stuff like that. Changed the titles of the different other project a couple of times. Just to, just to cater towards where I, what I wanted to do with the vehicle and stuff like that. So it turned into a DIY project and a YouTube series. Even got some people that work alongside me and work up under me that was started watching it. I didn't even know they was watching it until they came up to me like, dang, man, I didn't even know you was still, uh, I didn't know you was doing YouTube videos and stuff like that. I seen your, uh, you know, BMW videos, you fixing it and stuff. Like, that's cool. I didn't know. And we had a whole little conversation because people didn't know I was working on vehicles. I just started working on vehicles this year. I'm glad I started with a BMW. That's the thing that makes it worth it. You know what I'm saying? Even though I've spent a lot of money buying parts and doing this and doing that, and I still couldn't get the last code off. Anybody that know about BMWs? What code am I talking about? You guys, it should be on your couple of codes that people know about BMWs that that shit is so difficult, so finicky. It could be the most tiniest thing or the most biggest thing, but either way it goes, this code is fucking annoying. And that is the P0012 camshaft position stuck in a retarded position it don't matter what i did change the valve cover the centric shaft sensor the vano solenoids the freaking camshaft position sensors change the oil five times use super expensive oil did the flush and everything everything i did did not get rid of that damn code engine was good except for the P p0012 i still had that code the person told me the guy told me to drive it around for a while so the engine can the computer can kind of work it through drove it around it didn't fix it and then I ended up changing the battery. I remember I changed the battery, never registered the battery. I changed out about, about nine months ago. So maybe that could be the issue too, that the battery needs to be registered. That's how finicky BMWs are. But to be honest with you, when it comes to the BMW, I did really, really want to finish uh, that project and stuff like that. Um, now I'm having an issue to where I got to crank it a lot of times for it to even start. So the starter isn't going out, I don't think. I just think it's the starter relay. I looked into that already, looked at some videos. I just got tired of looking at video. I was looking at videos for like hours and hours. And like I said, you know, I did figure out a lot and I did fix a lot. I still got more videos coming up that I already filmed already months ago. What's been taking me a long time to put them up is because I could have been put them up, but it's just, I, I wanted to get it all the way finished first and then finish putting up the rest of the video. So at least I have, I'd be happy to put them all up. But if it's not finished and I still got videos to release, it's kind of like makes me not even motivated to even put them up. Even though they're videos that can help people and there's fixes that I've done and upgrades that I did. It's still kind of annoying that at the end of it all, I didn't get the project done. So, so next topic within this channel update, I want to talk to you guys about the vehicle, about the vehicle I did end up getting. And it's not a vehicle that people would expect me to get, especially with me liking uh, luxury for luxury foreign cars and stuff like that. 
or should I say, having more of a gravitation towards those particular cars. So what I ended up getting was a, a still a crossover SUV. I'm an SUV type of dude, crossover, should I say, SUV type of dude. It's just, it fits me, you know what I'm saying? The type of person I am, I love space, especially when I get off work, I love to feel spacious. I was, I, I got approved for a Camaro, you know what I'm saying? And I love how those look. I'll talk about that in a little bit later or inside a different vehicle, a uh, different video. But I got approved for a Camaro, but I chose this over a Camaro. Um, still crossover SUV and I ended up getting a Mazda CX-7 Grand Touring Turbo. At first, to be honest with you, I wasn't really even, I was like a Mazda. Like, cause when you first hit, like, cause like sometimes you don't, people don't look into to things that just hear the name and hear the brand and like I don't people who, who buys that you know people don't really look into it but if, sometimes you surprise yourself and you be surprised ple pleasantly surprised if you actually look into things and see what something's about you never know what somebody can what something can offer and what a person can offer you until you really really get to know that thing or that person and um I will tell you right off the bat the thing that sold me ultimately not ultimately but the thing that put the cherry on top that made me go ahead and get it was the turbo because it's a it's a four cylinder there's no way in the world i'm gonna go from a six cylinder you know what i'm saying to a four cylinder engine like there's absolutely no way you know what i'm saying that's what bmw have has going for itself is their strong engines you know their v6 and v8 engines you know what i'm saying they're super strong super quick and then the thing about the four cylinder mazda with the turbo inside of it it gives it the same power as a v6 so it still makes it real snappy and quick man those turbos kick in real good boy i'm telling you well, I said turbo, it only has one turbo. It's not even a twin turbo, and it still gets up real good, especially to be an SUV, man, please. I just spoke to a few people already that got surprised and stuff. <laughs> and then the year I got it, it's a 2011. There's a lot of things I like about this vehicle. I was gonna mention a lot of different things inside this channel update, but it's already getting long as it is. So I will say this though, I do love the vehicle. Um, when I first seen the pictures and everything, I wasn't really liking it, but in person, I was like, oh yeah, this is it. And then even when I seen other people's Mazda CX-7, I don't like it. You know, I don't like the way it looks, you know, in person or inside pictures. But every time I see mines, it's something about mines. I just, I just love it. You know what I'm saying? The interior, you know, I was supposed to change the outside color, but from everyone else's reaction to it, people keep telling me, don't change the color, man. Like the color is nice. Like people love the color of it. You know, um, it grew, it pretty much grew on me right away. It's a dark burgundy, dark, dark metallic burgundy. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've already been seeing me work on it, do all kind of custom uh, mods and stuff to it already. That's, how, that's why I tell people, if you're following me on YouTube only, you're not getting everything out of me, you know, cause there's more, little shorter videos I put up on Instagram weeks and weeks before, and I don't say weeks and weeks, but I say weeks before I even make it into a YouTube video because Instagram and putting up videos on there is just so quick. You know, I just take out my phone, film this real quick, some little commentary, bam, pop that on Instagram. It's super quick. I don't have to worry about typing in no, no, no detailed titles and all kind of stuff, even though there is an app for YouTube, but it's just, I don't know. I still feel like it's kind of finicky. I just feel like the way Instagram is set up, the way it's structured, it's just real easy to put content out there. People can see it, hashtag it real fast, boom. You know, so uh, so I got a whole video, different videos coming up of the Mazda CX-7, me customizing it and stuff. I got a video coming up talking to you guys about the things I love about it, why I chose it, this, the tech that I love on this one. I do have the top tier model, which I didn't even know I had at first uh, until I looked into it and stuff. So next topic is talking to you guys about how my car vlogs are coming back, including um, vlog time. First, let's talk about uh, car vlogs. Different, different regular topics, relationship stuff, stuff like that. Like three to five minutes long car vlog. Vlog time is pretty much me and my son. It's kind of similar to snack time, but instead we're vlogging. So we're going to different places to the mall, or and we're gonna have. I'm gonna have somebody record us too. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try different setups. I'm gonna have. One where we both have a camera, he, he's wearing a camera and I got a camera. Kinda like how other people did uh, that vlog inside their YouTube video where both of them had a camera and it's like the editing. They just, you know, swap between the cameras at any given time, you know, to make the video even more better, you know, to have different sp perspectives and stuff like that. So I like, I really, really love that style. And I also love the style of someone recording us too. I already got some offers from people and it'd be nice to do it around this time too, vlog time. So you can see exactly what we do or what, you know what I'm saying? What we do on our regular basis while on quarantine or while everything is going on and stuff like that with the COVID-19. Next topic is in, in 2021, I'll be buying and learning how to read music when it comes to playing the keyboard. 
I used to own a, I used to own a keyboard a long time ago when I was much younger and just playing around playing music I used to teach myself how to play different uh, songs and stuff too without even knowing how to read music just hearing the sound and pressing the keys and you know just you know like that but I want to learn how to read music I already been learning earlier earlier this year and stuff like that so and of course with that I'm not just bringing that up to let you know I'm gonna get a keyboard I'm making that into a YouTube series of me buying it and then me you know getting back into you know playing the music and stuff like that training myself how to you know read the music and stuff and you guys see my progression for anybody else out there that's new or trying to get into playing music and stuff so we're going to got two more topics within this channel update and the first one is I'm getting a new ca new camera for my YouTube channel. I sold my Canon C100. Yes, I know. A moment of silence. I know some of y'all eyes are like this right now. Like, boy, what? Yes, I sold my Canon C100, but don't go crazy because I sold my camera. It's not like I can't buy it again. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's not for sale ever again. You know, it's just that at, for a while, actually, like I've been wanting to sell it because it's like I got this big ass expensive ass piece of equipment with an expensive ass lens what am i doing i'm not doing nothing with it even before the virus hit it was a good 10 11 months i wasn't even working with my regulars wasn't even coming around so it's like i'm like dude you know what i'm saying and it's just with me i don't i don't wait around or complain too much i just maneuver myself somewhere else you know what i'm saying if things ain't working no more over here i just maneuver somewhere else so i'm still going to be doing filming and music videos and stuff and weddings and stuff for people but i will not be focused strictly on that wearing it on my sleeve like i used to telling everyone oh i'm a videographer i'm a photographer i do this i do that i won't be wearing it on my sleeve because mostly what i'm focused on now going forward is youtube and my career at walmart you know what i'm saying i literally I literally have a career you were i don't need to go to college i don't need to even go to school or do nothing I have a career already, you know what I'm saying? And I'm about to start my 401k, 401k next year. I should have been started, could have been started yet, but it makes sense to start it now. When I got this little extra hundreds and stuff, you know, popping off. I'm not the type that I'd sit there and be stupid and just do all that and stuff. And then later on when I'm old and old and gray and you know what I'm saying, walking around here looking for handouts and stuff and, and you know, no, you gotta set your life up in the beginning for your future period. I wish somebody would have taught me that and, and, and stressed that on me a long time ago to where I would have been living like the way I'm living right now, you know what I'm saying, a long time ago. Would have been setting my life up a long time ago. But yeah, back on topic, getting another cam camera for my YouTube channel and stuff like that. Um, I was looking at that, at that Blackmagic uh, cinema, you know, camera. Um, been looking at a lot of different ones. Not actively looking, but here and there I've been looking. And then a couple of years ago, I seen some cameras I, uh, I kind of like. Um, that does a good job for what it is. I already know when I get another camera, I'm gonna be getting, not annoyed, but like, I'm gonna kinda like, be like, ah, cause the C100 just feels so fucking good to use all the different buttons, everything is just there. It feels like a cinema camera. Those other cameras may have 4K, but it doesn't feel like a cinema, like it just feels finicky. It doesn't feel like a cinema camera, feel like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, it's just the way Canon does its cameras, Especially the C100, the C300 and all that is just fucking perfect. Like I got to cuss with it, it's so damn perfect. And that's the same way I buy my vehicles and stuff like that. I get a vehicle because it feels good to me. Like every time I walk up to it, it feels like a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? I, I look back at it and it makes me sm uh, makes me smile. You know, when I get inside of it, I feel, I feel good inside of it. That's how I like everything that I own that's expensive, that I use on a regular basis. That's how I like for it to make me feel. My camera, my bed, my TV and my car and my house. All five of those things have to make me feel a certain type of way. It has to. No questions asked. It has to. So with that being said, people of YouTube, I'm pretty sure I could have added more to this video, but I'm pretty sure I don't need to add more because the video is long. And um, so with that being said, like I said, I'll be looking out for more videos coming um, 2021. I'm going to be real busy. Um, even with this position that I got, this new Walmart position I got. I just wanted to see somebody walk through. That's crazy. All right, so, so with this new position that I have, I'm actually you know even more busy than i ever been you know because i've been i've been i've been working closing hours 2 to 11 and working mornings there have been times where i've been working like from 2 to 10 o'clock at, at night and then i end up going to work at 7 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock in the morning not 7 but like 10 in the morning and stuff like that there is a shift that i did where i got off at uh 10 at night and i went to work at uh, 7 in the morning 
I did that like once or twice. So with that being said, people of YouTube, all my viewers out there and subscribers, long time watchers, new adopters, uh, thank you guys for watching. And you know, your boy is not going nowhere when it comes to the YouTube. I actually be up, I will be up on here even more, even though I will be tired, but hey, I gotta make a deal with it do. And it's just about being a leader and about just, you know, filling people with that energy and just having fun and being active and just enjoying life. You know what I'm saying? This is part of people sit around and the reason why some, some people don't be happy in their life, even some of you, if, you, if you're watching, you don't feel too happy. It's because you're not doing kind of what I'm doing right now. You're not finding what makes you feel good when you do it. You're not finding something that you do so well that other people like to watch you do. You know what I'm saying? That's stuff that you probably do, that you probably good at, that, that people could feed off that energy from you from doing but you're not you haven't found it yet or you're not trying to do it um even on my gaming channel i bring my gamers to cats back a lot of people have been asking me about those so those are back in action um and i, I just love doing them I, it's just that i wasn't getting that many views on them and how much time it would take to film it and produce it edit and everything like it just was not worth it like it was just too much damn work and just too much time but the way i got it structured now you know i like the way i'm doing it now and I got my gameplays inside there with it too, so people can watch my gameplay as I talk about gaming. Cause people don't really like watching my gameplays, but they do love watching me talk about games, which is kind of weird. I get a lot of video, I get a lot, I get a shitload of views of me talking about games. But when it comes to me playing games, if I just do gameplays, it can be the best gameplay you ever seen, some professional gameplay, and I got some underrated ass gameplay. I'm super good. Even when it comes to my unboxings, the main things that people, the main reason why people, I get so many views on my unboxings and the main reason why people love watching my unboxings even if it's something that they're not gonna buy is simply because people love the way I explain things funny thing about it is that's a skill I had to develop for a long ass time like I didn't I was never good at explaining stuff and never used to talk that much so that's probably why my voice was goddamn smooth because I saved my shit for later <laughs> but anyways thank you guys for watching this video I've been trying to close it out for the last past five minutes but you know just trying to make sure i won't leave anything out yeah that's it that's everything so yeah with that being said stay safe stay sanitized and yeah i'm out peace